Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site, BettingAngle.us, a free site. It's Sunday, October 3rd, 2021. Let's talk week four of the NFL. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's just go through the picks I grabbed this week. Some conservative, some a little bit more aggressive. On the 26th of September, I took the New Orleans Saints. They're a big favorite over the New York Giants. On the 26th, I also took the Denver Broncos over the Baltimore Ravens. At different times this week, you could have gotten Denver as a home underdog. Right, right now, that betting line is pretty even, but I like the home team, the Denver Broncos. On the 26th, I also took the Tennessee Titans, big favorite on the road over the New York Jets. Right, let's shift gears to later in the week. Uh, later in the week, let's pull it up here. Later in the week, I took um, a double down on Denver at home over the Baltimore Ravens. I took Tampa Bay on a money line. Understand why I'm staying away from the point spread, right? Rob Gronkowski, who, like Tom Brady, had a history with the Patriots and no doubt uh, emotionally would have been a good crutch for Brady to have in New England. Uh, he's out for the game, folks, right? Now, I'll agree, a rookie quarterback going up against Indomitian Sue, that's going to be tough. But let's be real here. Tampa's defense has major holes. So I'm not going to play games with the point spread. I'm just taking the Bucks straight up. They're big favorites. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road at Green Bay getting, if you can pay a little bit extra for that extra half point, getting seven points. If you can't, take the six and a half. I like the Steelers on the point spread on the road against Green Bay. Right? Steeler defense is legit. I feel the public narrative is undervaluing the team. I keep hearing about Ben Roethlisberger falling apart, how the Steelers don't have a rushing attack. Look, Ben is not as bad off as people think. The thing with older players is they might be inconsistent. They might have moments of greatness and then games where they just can't perform. Right? But understand, the Steelers need this win. I'm expecting Ben to be inspired. Finally, I like Kirk Cousins at home getting two points over the Cleveland Browns. I made this bet on the 28th, right? I think Minnesota is undervalued. I think Kirk Cousins is a tale of two quarterbacks at home, especially when they need a win. Cousins is inspired, right? I have my doubts about some aspects of the Cleveland Browns. I think a veteran quarterback can hold up against that defense. I like Minnesota plus two at home over the Cleveland Browns. That's how I see it this week. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Good luck.